Hey, I'm Steve Nash. And I'm Michaela Di Cesare. And here's our review of Ringo Flamingo. Here's a tabletop game that is sure to please kids from ages 6 and up. Yeah, and I mean adults too. I had a great time playing this with my nephews. Basically, you have to save flamingos from the alligators by flipping lifesavers from your boat around the flamingos. Each flamingo has a different score, so try to aim for the highest one. But you better be careful, because if you get one around the alligator, you lose points. Well, you don't have to be careful with that, because it's almost impossible to get the alligator, even if you try. It's harder to get the alligator than it is to get the flamingo. I mean, I was actually trying and was unsuccessful. That's true. It's harder to get the alligator than it is to get the flamingos. Anyway. Once all the players run out of lifesavers, the board is cleared of the missed ones, and the points are counted to see which players save the most flamingos. So that's the game. Pretty simple, yet really fun. Kind of reminds me of those games at the theme park where you have to get the rings around the Coke bottles. Yeah, just a lot more appealing. The artwork is really nice, and it puts you in a festive mood. The colors are great, and the pieces are of high quality. I agree. It's a really nice presentation, and it's fun for all ages. So what do you give this game? Overall, I'm going to have to give it a 7. I really like the game. I'm going to give it an 8. The only thing I don't like is that it's always impossible to get the alligator. So there you have it, folks. To get our latest reviews, check us out on Twitter or follow us on our Facebook page at Bored to Death TV. Yeah, and you can also send us emails to let us know what games you want to see reviewed on the show. Thanks again for watching, and happy gaming.